Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is another code for us around this Harbor Space Scholarship Contest and we're gonna solve the second problem that is swap and reverse. So let's see what the problem states. They, they are telling that you'll be given a string S. It can be a random string A, B, C, D, something like that. And they are also telling that you'll be given a integer K. Okay. And uh, they are basically giving you two conditions. What are those two conditions? Is The first condition states that you can take uh, an index from SI and also you can take this, uh, you leave the next index, the next to next index will be there, no? You can take those two index and swap it. So for example, if the character is like S, J, H, I, you can take S and H and swap it or you can take J and I and swap it, I, J. In one operation, you can perform any of these two. J and H can't be swapped only uh, the alternate to alternate elements can be swapped. So, and the next condition is, they have already given a K character, right? You have to take consecutive K characters in the string and reverse it. So, it's like consecutive K character and uh, reverse it. So, it's, uh, let's say, suppose K equal to 3, C, D, E, F, G, H is the string. I can take any three consecutive characters that is let's say for I am taking E F G I can take uh, C D if I am reversing it will be G F E H or I can also uh, reverse these two after this operation it can be C F G D E H okay so that's it so you have two things uh, either you swap the alternate to alternate elements or you can take K elements and reverse it okay I can just do all of this but what should I do so they are asking you to perform these operations and see what is the lexicographically smallest string you can get from the input. Before that, what is a lexicographically smallest string? So for those of you who don't know, if I have a string like B, B, C, D, E and B, A, C, D, C, D, E. These are two strings, okay? This is A and this is B string. The first two characters are same, right? You don't do anything. Second character here, A is lexicographical, A is uh, a comes first before B in the character sequence. So A is lexicographically smallest string. You can consider like that. Start from the left. If uh, the string, if the characters are same, move proceed further. Whichever uh, string is having the first character as a smallest uh, character in the alphabet order, that will be the lexicographically smallest string. Now, before moving on to this, uh, what will be the lexicographically smallest string of any string? Just think about it. If I have a lexicographically smallest string like uh, SR or uh, BSR or something, what is the lexicographically smallest string? It is BRS, right? What does it mean? So without any condition, I can say that any string, if we sort it, it will be the lexicographically smallest string. So this is very important. If you sort any string, it will be the lexicographically smallest string but they don't want us to sort directly. They want to apply any of these two conditions. These two conditions can be applied any number of times. So let's see how the question says. So that's about the question. Let's see the test cases and examples and let's understand it. Now, N I M A, well, this is the first one. They gave the K value as two and N I M A is already here. Now, without understanding, like. Uh, without any of this, let's let's try to apply only the first condition here. Second condition will come later. We don't know. So what can be the best thing that can be done with the first condition? First condition, I can swap only N and M, right? Uh, let's say to make it smaller, M comes here and N comes here. Okay, so I want to swap this. I and A, do I need to swap? Yeah, we can swap. A and I can be swapped. Nothing more can be done. Only with the first condition, this is the one. But in the answer, they told A, I, M, N. So here, first condition itself is not enough. Uh, they have applied the second condition also. How did they apply the second condition? N, I, M, A is here. K value is 2. Now, if K value is 2 means they are taking any two characters and reversing it. Any two characters reverse. Any two characters reverse. If you are taking any two characters and reverse means uh, uh, why do you have to actually do it? Uh, I, N, it comes I, N, M, A and this will be I, M, A. N A A comes here right A N M I then again you need to swap uh, this one I A M N then again this one A I M N so okay A I M N worked 
so they like took two elements and i just kept on reversing what happened here this is also some sign of sort if you know it it is called as bubble sort right nothing we did not do anything in bubble sort you call it as swap but any two characters two characters reverse is same as two consecutive uh, characters reverse is same as uh, swapping of two characters so there is nothing much we can identify so this is basically sorting with uh, second condition okay they just took two characters kept on reversing it now let's say panda this is p a n d a now let's see whether we can derive something new right now uh, as per our understanding let's try only the first condition what is our first condition we can swap p n n a or p n n okay or we can swap a and d only so here if you understand one thing i can swap p and n or n and a in uh, okay let's understand let's swap uh, a n p here and we can swap p and a also right a p n so for this bucket we can take all the characters together and simply sort it because at some stage of the point these characters will be alternate so we will name this so to give the most problem probable name what could be it you can call this as odd position you can call this as even position you can call this as odd position you can call this as even position so all the odd characters you can take it together that is p n and a and you can simply sort it a uh, n and p and you can place it in the corresponding position a n p now even position also you can just uh, take a and d a and d can be sorted it will be a d now let's see whether this worked or not a a n d p okay they used only what they used only first condition so what did we do here we understood that for all the alternate elements they belong to the same family because at some point they will meet if one character is si they will be s of i plus 2 so you can just keep on sorting keep on swapping any number of times and eventually it will get sorted so we applied only first condition only odd position even position now we got the answer so we can't do anything now the forces as you see here uh, the k value is 2 if k value is 2 you can just do that bubble sort thing na reverse 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 keep on doing it it will be just the sorted so this also can't help us a m i r f a r so let's try this one a m i r f a r according to the logic that we derived at the second one we are applying only the first logic here that is odd even odd even odd even odd i take all the odd positions what are the odd positions a i f r a f r can be sorted as a uh, f g h i r now even is what m uh, r and uh, a so it can be given as a uh, m r right now odd position will be a f i r this is a m r so a a f m i r r here also we used only the first condition so far so good uh, we did not found the need for second condition and first condition to come together but let's see uh, now it's just only the second condition here second condition here, first condition first condition let's see something interesting happens here six four rounds so this is six k value is four and rounds is the string now what did they say d n o r s u is the result d n o r s u is the answer okay now what do we do we will apply only the first condition that is odd even odd even odd even okay now what did i say you take uh, r here u here and d here all the odds you take it together and you just sort it a so it will be d uh, e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s d r u you take all the even character even position o n s that is n o s now you put it to the corresponding position that is d r u now this is n o s d n r o u s but the answer is d n o r s u now we understood that first condition itself is not enough you need to apply the second condition also so if you apply the second condition what do you apply you can't do anything right what do you apply here 
so they told k value is 4 so we can reverse this we can reverse this or we can reverse uh, these four elements anything we can reverse but there should be some purpose for it to reverse it right we know that this is odd even odd even odd even according to first condition only odds can be uh, swapped and only even can be swapped now let's understand that uh, the reverse we don't know you can't just simply going on reverse there is no logic here so we'll take the first condition and take the second condition as a helper condition now let's see what just happens what just happens if we reverse so i'm taking randomly the first four characters and writing like n u o r this i reversed it and writing like d and s i still don't know what to do so i'm just taking the position what happened to the position odd even this is what r belongs to the odd set O belongs to the even set, U belongs to the odd set and N belongs to the even set. This is old position, okay? Now new position is what? This is odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So according to the first condition, only odd position can be grouped together and sorted. Here or even position can be grouped together and sorted. Now what happened here? If I take a set of characters and reverse it, you saw the position changed, right? See, now what is the new positions uh, thing? S, okay, for odd and even. Who are uh, odd participant N, O, and D? This is N, O, D are odd participants. And S, O, sorry, S, R, and U are even participants. Earlier what? D, R, U are uh, odd participants. This is odd participants and even participants. But now NOD became odd participants and even became SRU participants. Now, we are not going to derive everything and try out what could happen or uh, at what stage we are going to get it sorted. We are just telling that if a character is belonging to an odd position, it can get swapped only to the odd position in first condition uh, or even to even. Now, second condition is like a helper function. If there is any even position that is available and I want to swap it with one of the odd position, I can just reverse it, swap it, reverse it somewhere, swap it, swap it, so that these characters get mixed up and at some point I am able to touch two characters and swap it. So, if what is happening here, if an even number comes, I can simply sort it. That's all. I can simply sort the entire string. I'll explain it again. I can simply sort it. But what if an odd number comes? Let's say k equal to 3. So r, o, u, n, d, s. This is odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. 3 means what? I can take any 3 characters only. If I take 3 characters and reverse it, the position won't change. Odd position will be an odd position and even position will be an even position only. If k equal to 5, what happens? It will be this. Still, odd position will be an odd position only. D, N, U, O, R, right? This will be odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. Now, R is odd. O is even here. U is also odd. N is even here. And D is also odd here. So, if K equal to 3, there is no reason that I need to go to the second condition. I can't reverse it. Reversing does not make any sense. Odd and even. Uh, will be at the same position so you can't do anything since already they are a family we can just sort it but if it's an even position even has the ability uh, sorry if the k value is uh, even number it has the ability to change the character's position if a character's position is changed i can take the first condition and merge it with a different family and swap it so that's all let's see how did we go so we are taking odd and even as two vectors i am uh, inputting the string here i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 means uh, it's like uh, zero based indexing right so the first position is odd and the second position is even i am just segregating what are all the characters now if k is an even number i can simply sort it here i told you right you just sort it because you can change the position if it is k value is odd number I can't literally do anything because even if you reverse it, the odd and even will be at the same. So you sort the odds, uh, all the odds, you sort all the events. Then based on the corresponding position, you just uh, put the odd numbers and even numbers. And uh, you can check the uh, submission link here. So that's all. 
and uh, if you have any doubts please let me know i if i if you want to explain again uh, it's very simple uh, you have a string here you just want to swap only alternate alternate characters that means what all are a set of odds or set of events and uh, they belong to same family we sort it but uh, in some cases if we have the ability to swap it with a different index if odd wants to swap it with even we make use of the reverse and reverse it from second to fourth or first to third or anything we can reverse it and then eventually we just swap it so we are just understanding this logic and directly coding it we don't have to derive whether it's sorted or not so that's all and uh, i know this is very much uh, observation and intuition based approach so you can just keep practicing and just uh, apply it so that's all thank you so much